get the latest on the weather now with uh, Como Forecast Team Shannon O'Donnell. Just a gorgeous start to the weekend. What yeah, a beautiful amazing. Saturday. Really pretty. We broke records for the second day in a row. It wasn't quite as hot as it was on Friday, but it was close, and it really was pretty for getting outdoors again. Summer still officially in place, and boy, it felt like it today, and we're enjoying a gorgeous Saturday night around here with starry skies. You can see right now the arches there at the Science Center all aglow, and things are still pretty clear right now, but give it a few hours. We're going to see the skies changing around here as we head toward early Sunday morning. 65 degrees right now, no rain in the gauge at all, and light north-northwesterly winds at 5 miles per hour. The live weather webcam in Silverdale actually isn't live. It's three hours old, just so I could show you a brighter shot than what we would see right now. You uh, see the sun setting there behind the clouds over the Olympics. A beautiful shot there near Hood Canal earlier this evening. In the meantime, we are still very mild for a September night. It's still 65 as we saw in Seattle. 60 right now in Olympia. We're holding tight at 58 in Port Angeles with a strong sea breeze starting to wind its way through the Strait of Juan de Fuca. 52 right now in Friday Harbor and 60 in Everett. So right around Seattle proper, it's still a pretty mild night for getting out on the town. High temperatures today weren't quite as high as yesterday, but they were still primarily well into the 80s. 83 at SeaTac. It was also 83 at the Weather Service office at uh, Sandpoint there on Lake Washington, and that was enough for a record there. Also enough for a record in Olympia with a high of 86. But look at Forks with just 66 as a high today. A sign of some changes there sitting right at the coastline. A lot of fog, that big marine layer sitting at the beaches, and that's set to roar in here as we head toward early tomorrow morning. The average high for this time of year, just 71. You know, in September it does start to cool down, but today we were 12 above that with a high of 83. The old record, 85. So it wasn't quite enough for a record today at SeaTac, although we were very close. A look at the satellite picture shows you some cloud cover already starting to stream up the coastline. We have the marine layer in place too, and you see this little disturbance here as well. Overall, that high pressure that's been over the top of us and giving us the warmth for the last couple of days is going to continue to scoot to the east over eastern Washington. So we'll cloud up tomorrow at the coastline in particular. Could see some sprinkles out there, especially near the beaches. And overall, clouds in the morning, sunshine tomorrow afternoon, and that's going to lead to some cooler temperatures. Again, morning clouds and maybe some drizzle too. Eventually, we pull that blanket back in time to reveal 75 degrees, but it's going to take a while. So overnight tonight, the clouds starting to pour into the interior by sunrise. We'll see lows in the 50s. Highs tomorrow after we push the clouds out of the way. We'll see a partly cloudy sky in 75 and shoreline 77 in Burien. 60s at the beach where it will be cloudy and drizzly much of the day. The mountains still out of the clouds with highs in the 70s around Mount Si and Snoqualmie Pass. And all of that heat shifts into eastern Washington. Lots of 90s there tomorrow. Watch for a small craft advisory if you're doing some boating on the Strait of Juan de Fuca tomorrow. And overall a really nice pattern. Kind of back to normal on Monday with highs in the low 70s. We pop up the heat again on Tuesday, but Wednesday a day of change. We'll have rain back by Wednesday night and then cooler and showery for the end of the week. Highs only in the 60s. So then it really starts to feel like <laughs> September. A little bit more comfortable out there. A little bit more my style. All right. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs>